Welcome back once again to howtocookredfood.com. If you have not already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. Also, please take time to click that bell icon just below for notifications. On the main today, we're gonna to make a nice cold nachos with some beans, avocado. It's really, really easy. I love this. Get this together, get the game on, fantastic. Super easy, let's go and take a look at the ingredients that we need. Okay, let's take a look at this then. So, my avocado's there. I'm not cutting that until the last minute because that can go really brown quite easily, but you need a nice ripe avo. One, you know, decent sized tomato diced. I've got some white beans here. Now you can be using any type of bean you want. I'm just using white today. So black beans, red kidney beans, anything works. If you're using from a can, make sure you wash them really nicely in some cold water. Some sliced onion. I've got here some jalapenos. Now I've got pickled, they're from a jar, pickled. I've got red and green in there. I've also got here some chili flakes, which is optional extra little spice. Some fresh cilantro or coriander there. Minced garlic, tiny amount as you can see. Don't want it too much in there, but we do want it in there. And then again, these three spices, small, small amounts. We're talking quarter, half teaspoons here of cumin, paprika, sweet paprika, and some oregano. Sour cream for the end. And then equal parts of olive oil and lemon juice. There's about a quarter cup each there. And of course, we've got our nachos. Now these are plain nachos, I always recommend you use those, don't get Doritos and things like that because they're just super highly salty. This is going to be just really easy, it's so easy to get together, nice kind of quick cold nacho bowl. So first of all, small mixing bowl, let's get in the lemon or lime juice works as well, the olive oil, try and use a nice quality, we're going to get in those spices. So that's oregano, paprika and cumin, that little tiny amount of garlic. Let's get some salt in there. Some black pepper. We're gonna give that a little mix, then we can move on to the next step. Okay, so mixing bowl here, as you can see, beans of choice, tomatoes, onions, and my lovely ripe avocado. Let's drop in those jalapenos, give it a nice little spice. Optional, a few little chili flakes there. I'm gonna add a little bit more black pepper onto this. We're gonna add in our cilantro or coriander, whatever you call that. And then we're gonna add our dressing, over that goes. We're gonna give that a mix. Now everything's in apart from the sour cream. We have not used that yet. So a little mix up of this. And think about some green onions in here if you wanted. Think about um, also cucumber. Things like that really work in this. But you can add anything you like. So we've got a nice little mixture there. And we're ready for our nachos. Okay, so we've got some plain nachos there. We're gonna drop in some mixture. Then we're gonna go in with some more nachos. With some more of our lovely mixture. And I've got even more nachos. And then the last of our mixture on the top there. Spread that around. We're now gonna go with some, some sour cream. Let me just drop some on there. Drop some on there. Drop it about. Now I'm not adding any cheddar or mozzarella cheese to this, just like this. Because I'm not going to be baking this. We're not going to put this in the oven or anything, just nice and cold like that. Pretty amazing. I love it. A few tomatoes on the top. A little bit of onion on the top. A 
the little cilantro or coriander, a little flaked chili, and that's it, we're done. Nice, easy, cold nacho bowl of avocados and some lovely beans. I like to pick in there and pull that out, it's fantastic. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you soon. Lots of love. Thank you.